Hello, everybody. This is Terry Nance. I want to welcome you to 8 Minutes Strong with the Armor Bearer. It's a joy to be with you. I want you to say it. Something good is going to happen to me today. God's goodness is being poured out, and he is going to show himself strong. I don't care what's happening in this world. God is good. He's victorious, and his anointing and love is reaching out to you. You enjoy these uh, broadcasts, these programs. Just uh, hit the subscribe button. And then also uh, go to godsarmorbear.com, get the books and material. And I am a licensed life coach and mentor. And this is something that, that really I'm moving into. I believe in just uh, the power of uh, impartation. And, you know, uh, you teach what you know and you impart who you are. And so I just, uh, I've just been thrilled because I've been able to really speak into the lives of several pastors and some armor bearers uh, every month. And so I'd love to be a part of your life and your ministry if you desire that. You know, I was talking, we've been talking about atmosphere and the power of atmosphere. You know, wherever, whatever church it is and ministry you're involved in, you know, atmosphere is everything. It just is. If you remember when Jesus went into Nazareth and the Bible says he could do no, no miracles, really just small miracles because he would, he was amazed and marveled at their unbelief. So here's the bottom line. An atmosphere can shut you down or it can release you. And that is why it is so important that we understand the atmosphere uh, around us and how pow- powerful that is. And there has to be an atmosphere of faith, you know, and as an armor bearer, your mind and your heart has got to be on the service and it's got to be every Sunday morning. And really, especially if you're office staff and I may be speaking to some people who are on staff and I want to say this to you every day, you set the atmosphere and you, you have to do it by faith. I remember someone said to me, uh, one day they said, well, the way you teach it almost, it's like you have to fake it till you make it. No, honey, it's not fake it till you make it. It is Faith it till you make it. And faith is going to be positive. Faith is going to speak the word of God. Faith is going to rejoice when everyone else around them are murmuring, complaining, falling apart. God Almighty is breathing upon his church and God wants to breathe through you to create the atmosphere so that your pastor uh, you know, the, the pastor can flow and minister. What would have happened to Moses if Moses would have had to stand there all day long and Aaron and her would have never helped him? Well, uh, the truth of it is, uh, gosh, uh, Joshua wouldn't have won or it would have taken him days to, to win the battle. And there would have been much loss in the middle of it. And there's loss when the atmosphere is wrong. And so uh, now I want to speak to just real quick. All the ministry helps. You're there to help. It, it, it is so important, the attitude and the atmosphere. I had a couple one time, they joined the church. And when they joined the church, I had the opportunity to ask them. I said, well, you know, why did you pick Impact Church? And they said, well, we went to several churches. But you know what? I was hugged when I came in the building. And then I was hugged before I sat down. And they said, and that was it because I knew that the love of God is in this house and they were, they're reaching out. And so, you know, just, uh, uh, be encouraged today and just set your heart to be like a Barnabas. Uh, this is a Barnabas program today. Be the Barnabas, the son of encouragement. Take that attitude because everything in our life has to deal with attitude. Uh, Lou Holtz, which was an Arkansas uh, coach and also coach for Notre Dame, where he won a national championship, he said this ability is what you're capable of doing. Motivation determines what you do, but attitude determines how well you do it. And attitude is everything. Can I tell you something? You can see an attitude coming. And I remember one day, you know, as many, many places I traveled, I always met with the staffs and ministers and we all prayed before the service and they prayed for me before I was to minister. And uh, I remember one time a uh, young man who was the music pastor, he just said, well, I know 
I'm, I'm doing this today. And, but you know, I am so tired and didn't sleep good last night. I thought about not even coming and I don't feel that well and just went on through. And I was sitting there and I was thinking, Oh my Lord. Uh, I can't, I, I was shocked to be honest with you. Now you say, well, Pastor Terry, that, that's the way he was feeling. And you know, you have to release your feelings. No, you don't. No, you, you, by faith, that young man, first of all, should have come in and said to the pastor, somebody pray for me. I am struggling some things, but this is going to be the greatest worship service we ever had. That's the attitude you have to, you have to have and you have to say it by faith. That's why the Bible, uh, I mentioned the scripture out of uh, Ephesians five. It says you got to make melody and you know, melody is something you got to get up and make it. I know the Lord told me one day, get up and dance in your office when I mean all hell was breaking loose against me. And I did it and I did it by faith. But I know that my heart for the local church and my heart uh, for uh, my pastor and all, I would come to church uh, when I worked at, a, at the church in Little Rock. I would come two hours early every Sunday morning. And I was there Now I was on staff, so I had an office. But I would come in there and I would spend an hour in prayer. Can you imagine if every person in the ministry helped spend it? It spent 30 minutes in prayer before they ever did anything. Wow. And just believing that this is going to be the most anointed day. Uh, wow. I, I just, uh, I'm telling you, it would just be incredible. What would happen is that we just release the power of the Holy Spirit and we release the glory of God into the house. And just the joy of the Lord, it's going to be the best service we ever had. Can you imagine what would happen? And I want to encourage you right now. That's what you need to do. Do do not let that spirit of discouragement get on you. I, I sense this so strong today. There are those, and that is why I want you to start declaring, I'm a Barnabas. I am a Barnabas. I'm a son of encouragement. And I bind that spirit of depression. Uh, trying to come on and that spirit of hurt. Now you may be hurt and, and that may be something that you've gone through, but in the name of Jesus, I break the power of that thing. And you, you just start thanking God, uh, for that individual and bless that person who you may have been offended. I don't care if it, it, it is the pastor or what. And I just sense, uh, a fear of COVID and I bind it in the name of Jesus. Any, any symptoms of COVID right now, I curse you and I release the anointing of the Holy Spirit right now in this broadcast. I release it. You are delivered and you are set free. Now by faith, start rejoicing by faith. Get up and start dancing. If that's what you have to do. Hallelujah. Just do it by faith and say that something good is going to happen to me today. God bless you.